Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Ru Ruby Pumps by China Glaze. I'm going to do a pond stamped mani. I've started off with Neltique's Formula 2 on my digits. And here is the lovely China Glaze Ruby Pumps. My favorite, everybody knows. So I'm going to go in with this first coat. And this, <laughs> this is just the most beautiful polish I own. I mean, I own a lot of gorgeous polishes. But this one speaks to me, and I think it's because I'm a July baby, and Ruby's my birthstone, and this polish is perfect. Not only that, I love Wizard of Oz, and, you know, you're just putting so many good things together. It's just awesome. Sorry, I'm getting out of frame. Here we go. Gonna get it together. But it's a blurry mess because um, that Ruby Pumps is just so bling-tastic. There we go. I'm gonna be using Funky Fingers. Guess so? Guess so? Guess so? And a dotting tool with a kind of a medium, a large and medium dots. But I'm just going to go in and put a few dots in here on this nail. I've already done the rest of them off camera. You know, try to keep my videos from being like, you know, 30 minutes long. <laughs> and we're going to go in and put some smaller dots in between. You don't have to be exact on this. This is just the way I did it. There's no real wrong or right way to do these kinds of manicures. So there we go, looking all Minnie Mouse. And now I'm going to go in with another rather thin layer of Ruby Pumps. And you kind of get, it does kind of cover it up, but you can still see those different colors. You know, it changes the look of it. So blingy. I love it. I'm going to top it with some Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. Get this to seal down and smooth it all out. Get it to dry because you guys know I want to do some stamping. Now, I know y'all were expecting at least one manicure with my beloved Ruby Pumps for Christmas. So, this one's going to be it. I'm going to be using the Beauty Big Bang XL034 plate today. And I'm going to be using these little snowflakes up in the corner. I'll be using the Beauty Big Bang Stamper and Scraper. And Nicole Diaries White Stamping Polish NS01. And I'm just going to try to isolate these little bitty snowflakes. And I'm going to put them on my nails. I'm fitting this on all of my nails. But I am going to kind of flip it and to where I'm not covering up the whole entire nail with them. Um, I just I want some of that peekaboo from beneath to still show through. And it's hard to see with this. So there we go. Got a little peek right there. See what I'm doing. It's hard to do with this stamper. And there we go. That's the first one done. You kind of see how I'm going about this now. Now that we've got an example. And I am going to do this one again. Now this image is just picking up amazing. I'm not having any issues at all with it. Not with the stamper, the scraper, the polish, nothing. Everything's just ideally perfect today. I am removing little bits with a piece of tape that I don't want to go on my design. And then I'm kind of catty cornering the other fingernail differently than the first one. So there we go. I really was excited about this manicure. I always get excited to be able to wear ruby pumps. And I know many of you are probably just sick of hearing me talk about this polish because I talk about it a lot. It's probably the most talked about polish on my channel. I mean, if you go all the way back to the beginning, I've, I was talking about it then, and I'm still talking about it. And I do own a lot of polishes that look like this one, but this is the one. I'm on my fifth bottle. Yep, that's right, fifth bottle of Ruby Pumps. And I just think it looks great stamped with white. I just, to me, it's just a match. I was going to do like peppermint nails or something, candy canes, but I ended up deciding not to. And I've got a little piece that I don't really want on my nails, so I am able to pull that up with a piece of tape also. I just, I mean, if I couldn't get it up, it would have been okay, but since it was still kind of fresh, I was able to take that little piece of tape in there and just pull that little bitty bit up that I didn't want. Playing turn around, turn around with this stamper, trying to figure out how I want to get it on the nail. Ooh, another little peaky pie. There we go. That's why I don't really love this stamper. I can't... It, well, I love it as far as using it. I just don't love it as far as filming. My monocle stamper is so much easier for filming. 
And I'm going to try, I was going to try to isolate these three little snowflakes in the corner, but I end up having to swipe over it again and I get, I just get polish everywhere. So we're going to go in with our tape and get up all this extra because this is going on my pinky nail. So we don't need a whole lot. I want to cover up all of the nail. <clears throat> but I really liked how you could see the pond fanicure part of it underneath this. It just kind of gave it a little bit more dimension. I'm going to use the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat over this one. I finally had to break this one out and start using it. My Bundle Monster one is pretty much done. Look at that. Love it. I'll be topping this one off with the Fast and Hard again from Vibrant Vinyls. There you go. You can see that pond manicure up underneath it. So I really did enjoy this one, but I would love to hear your thoughts on it. So please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this Manny of mine. This little Christmas Manny. There we go. Get back in frame, girl. And I know it's distracting, that bling on that other hand. It's just screaming hollow. So I have a swatch photo coming up. And like I said, leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I will talk to you soon. Bye.